Hello and welcome back to the HSS channel. Today I'd like to clear up any confusion that you might have and lay to rest some commonly held misconceptions about migrating from older versions of Cakewalk Sonar to the new and improved Cakewalk by BandLab. Hey, thanks for stopping by the channel today. My name is Robert and this channel exists to simplify the complexities of the home studio and to help you make professional sounding music in a less than professional space. So if you're into music production, then this channel is definitely for you. There are entire playlists that are full of helpful tutorials, honest reviews, and interviews with awesome people in the audio industry. Likewise, the community here meets up once a week for live tutorials, Q&A, and of course, gallons of coffee. So if that sounds like something that you'd like to be a part of, consider subscribing today and also click that bell for the notifications so that every time I go live, you'll be the first to know. All right, first things first, let's discuss what differences there are between the old Cakewalk Sonar program and the new and improved Cakewalk by BandLab. Now, as an old user myself who stuck it out through the whole Gibson fiasco, I've seen the rise and fall of this DAW. Likewise, I beheld in all of its glory, like a phoenix from the ashes, its victorious comeback into the most powerful free DAW in the world. Now, with that being said, there are some minor differences between the old and the new. While the new version is as close to what would have been Sonar Platinum, it isn't an exact replica, and so that's notable to mention. In fact, the biggest difference between the two is that the newer version doesn't come with all of the third-party plugins that the original did, and some of the add-ons as well that were included with the Platinum version are either non-existent or stripped down to essential version. And by the way, I've included a link in the description of this video that will take you to my website where I've outlined all of the major differences for you to save you a little bit of time. Now, the main thing that you need to know if you're in a hurry though, is that the new version still has more than enough stock plugins and virtual instruments to tackle any project that you're working on with confidence. There are also lots of things being added all the time. In fact, stay tuned for something really big that's coming down the pipeline and as an insider, I can tell you that you're not going to want to miss what's coming. Okay, so now the big question for those of you who, like me, have all the old install files from the previous paid version. The question is, can you upgrade to the newest version of Cakewalk by BandLab and still retain the use of all of your old projects and the plugins that you paid for back whenever it was Sonar? The answer is a resounding yes. In fact, in most cases, if you had an old Cakewalk account, it should still be accessible to download what you purchased within the account section, so long as you remember your login information. Okay, great, so you've got all the installation files needed and you're still running the latest version. Now what? Well, simply install Cakewalk by BandLab right on top of the old installation and everything will be integrated seamlessly. Now, in order to make this happen, you will have to sign up for a BandLab account. And I personally used my old login information from my previous Cakewalk account, and it actually recognized it right away. So once you have an account created with BandLab, you'll need to download the, what's called the BandLab Assistant. This will act as your account manager for updates in the future. It's also notable to mention that once you've installed the latest version or updated an already existing installation, you no longer have to be connected to the internet for Cakewalk to work and no features go away because you're not online. So for those of you who have a separate PC that's set up for audio that's not online, you can use the offline installer feature coupled with a USB dongle to stay up to date without ever having to expose your system to the web directly. Now here's the best part. If you're updating from a pre-existing version, not only will you retain the access to all of your projects, but you'll also be able to keep all of the third-party plugins and purchase plugins that you had when you originally owned the previous version of Cakewalk. In this portion of the video, we're gonna go through some frequently asked questions. These are questions that I get asked all the time, whether it be through email, the Facebook page, or even the comment section here on the YouTube channel. Now, although some of the answers that I'll be giving in this portion of the video may have already been covered in the previous portion, this would also be a great place for you to bookmark for individuals like yourself who might be wanting to migrate from Cakewalk Sonar into Cakewalk by BandLab. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin with the first question. Is Cakewalk by BandLab the same program as Sonar Platinum? Yes, Cakewalk by BandLab is the exact same core program as Sonar Platinum, only with a new name and many improvements. Now, the key differences, as we've already covered, is that Cakewalk does not include some of the third-party plugins that were bundled with Sonar Platinum. Because Cakewalk is now free, it does not also include the licensed third-party plugins. However, if you have Sonar installed, the third-party plugins will also be available in Cakewalk 
ready to use in all of your projects. So question number two that I get asked a lot is, is it really free? Yes, it's 100% free. Cakewalk does not require a subscription. There's no credit card required. You simply just need to create a BandLab account in order to use the latest version of Cakewalk. Question number three, will Sonar ever be updated? Well, the application named Sonar was discontinued in October of 2017 and is no longer maintained or supported. Instead, Sonar lives on under a new name, Cakewalk by BandLab, which is vigorously supported. Now, Cakewalk picks up where Sonar Platinum left off and has continually evolved with regular updates delivering significant stability and performance enhancements. With a focus on stability, Cakewalk by BandLab is taking things honestly to the next level, whether it's advanced audio processing, integrating collaboration tools and cutting edge features, or maybe even the hundreds and hundreds of bug fixes. That's just a start of what users report to be the most stable version of Cakewalk that they've ever used. So regardless of what version, whether it be Platinum, Professional, Artist, Home, or Studio that you've used in the past, Cakewalk by BandLab has evolved to become a far superior program. Question number four, does Cakewalk by BandLab require an internet connection to work? Cakewalk by BandLab requires an internet connection to install, activate, and update, but an internet connection outside of that is not needed to run the program. Question number five, have existing bugs in Sonar Platinum been fixed in Cakewalk by BandLab? The answer is yes, and actually they're picking right back up where Sonar Platinum left off and have made hundreds and hundreds of bug fixes from the initial release of Cakewalk by BandLab. So rest assured, it's gonna be stable. Okay, so the next question, will Cakewalk by BandLab support my Sonar Platinum plugins? Yes, as has already been stated, as long as they are installed on your computer and have been previously authorized, any Sonar compatible plugins will be compatible with Cakewalk by BandLab. The next question I always get is, why do I need a BandLab account? Well, you need a BandLab account to sign into BandLab Assistant, and BandLab Assistant then allows you to download and authorize Cakewalk by BandLab and any future releases of the updates to Cakewalk by BandLab as well. So another question that I'm asked frequently is, does this mean that you have to be active on BandLab's social music platform to use it? Signing up for a BandLab account doesn't mean that you actually have to use BandLab, the social music platform, at all. Although there are plenty of good collaboration options and other features in there, and you can read more about them in the description below. Try them all out. All of the features are completely free. All right, guys. Well, I hope this has helped to clear up any confusion that you might have had if you were wanting to migrate from Cakewalk Sonar into the newest and latest version of Cakewalk by BandLab, and maybe you had some preconceived misconceptions. Now, if you have any questions about anything that I've covered or you'd like to ask something that maybe that I didn't cover, go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to answer that as I answer all of my comments. So until next time, remember that we can dream alone, we can create alone, but together we can achieve so much more. Today's video is sponsored in part by the Pro Mix Academy. The Pro Mix Academy offers affordable courses from mentors, world-class engineers, Grammy winners, and multi-platinum selling producers. And with the resources available on the Pro Mix Academy, you can learn how to create radio-ready mixes from the comfort of your own home studio. Most of the courses also offer multi-tracks that you can then add to your portfolio and begin to build out your business. Follow the link in the description of this video to head on over to the Pro Mix Academy today and start learning the skills that are needed to take your hobby or your business to the next level.